Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Welcome if you're new, welcome back if you are returning. My name is Lindy, this is Much Love Tarot. Welcome everyone. Today we are going to be looking into the question, what are they saying about you behind your back? What is going on over there? Um, let me get over all the announcements first real quick. You can still book private readings with me. My email address is in the description box below. Send me an email. I'll get back to you with all the information that you need to know about that. There is also a link tree link in the description box. If you go over there, you'll find my Instagram, my TikTok account. Uh, for anyone that feels generous and would like to make a donation, all different ways to do that over there as well. Now, let's dive into today's video today's reading what are they talking about uh, about you or like what are they saying about you behind your back pile number one you are going to be card number 46 with coming apart coming apart for pile number one pile number two you guys are going to be card number 38 with heal the ouch Heal the ouch for pile number two. And pile number three, you are going to be card number 37 with cleaning house. Cleaning house for pile number three. So if you need some more time to go over the piles, uh, meditate on them or figure out which pile resonates best for you, then pause the video here and otherwise I will talk to you guys in your reading. Hi, pal number one. So if you chose this card number 46 with coming apart, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're looking at the question, what are they saying about you behind your back? <sighs> with this coming apart, I just feel very sad. Um, I kind of, I didn't really want to read the guidebook to this card or add the guidebook in this because I feel like I'm always doing that whenever I have these cards. But I kind of wanted to read up on the card and get more of a feeling of it. Uh, and then I was like, okay, let's just add the whole uh, meaning to it because it I feel like it fits very perfectly for this one. So let's read that first and then check out the rest. So pile number one, coming apart. Now is the time to take separate paths. The, the coming apart card is a sign to put an end to what is no longer working for you. Has a commitment been broken? Perhaps you need to t break a promise or change your course because you took on more than you could handle. This is a perfect time to release, uh, sorry, reassess your goals and values. Are your actions in alignment with what you believe in? Have you created a partnership that is non-mutual beneficial? Separation, disillusion, and disp dispersion are all in focus now. If someone wishes to break away from you, don't chase the relationship out of a sense of fear. The price you'll pay will not be worth the price. Separation brings good fortune. To me, this is more of like advice and guidance for you on this. I feel that there, with that coming part, that there has been some sort of separation or um, some sort of break happening. Whether that is with yourself or with this person you're asking about. Um, I think they are trying to paint you off a little bit as a sad person. As, oh, she, they, they are so sad and still chasing me and trying to figure out how to work this. And trying so hard, but just like a sad person... Um, it's kind of what I'm feeling that they're trying to portray you as. Which to me doesn't make sense because that means that the other person is also portraying themselves a bit as a dickhead. <laughs> but that's my opinion on this. Uh, but let me take a look at what the tarot has to say about this. What they are more specifically talking about uh, behind your back about you. So, pal number one, what are they saying behind your back about you? What are they saying behind your back? Okay, let's see what we have. 
what popped out. First off, we have the Two of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, the Two of Wands, the Nine of Cups, and we have the Four of Swords. So I'm definitely feeling that they would describe you as you are falling apart a little bit. Um, or at least that you like need a break or you need some time. Let me look at the bottom. We have the Ace of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles as well. I think this person does have uh, a difficult time coming up with what to say. At one end, I feel like they want to keep painting you with that Queen of Pentacles as well. As someone very like stable and calm and loving and caring. Uh, but at the other end, there is that, you know, I don't know. I feel like for some of you, you might have taken that distance, like it said in that, um, in the card here. Let me re re read that real quick. The coming apart card is assigned to put an end to what is no longer working for you. Has a commitment been broken? Perhaps you need to break a promise or change your course because you took more than you could handle. For some of you where it was you that make the decision, right, to break or to break a promise, to break with this connection, to um, whatever that is. Again, the understand. I feel like there is some disappointment here, but at the same time, I'm feeling more where it's like, you know, like I get it, they need some time. For themselves in some instances just a, some not all of them is what i said in the intro where they try to paint you off as this weak person needing time or a weak person coming apart having a hard time uh, making decisions or whatever um you know but in most i don't see it that heavy i don't want to say that they are they, they are how to say it <clears throat> That they don't care. I do feel that there is like an edge of... Of... How do you say that? Contentment? No. Like, not really blaming you. But there is that feeling of... I, th I feel like they don't see the depth of what it is that you're going through. How you're feeling. The depth of, you know, your inner world. And with that Ace of Swords, I feel like there might have been that they're seeing a new side of you that they were not expecting. You taking a break, setting healthy boundaries, maybe breaking some promises just because you need to take care of yourself first. And maybe seeing a little bit with that Nine of Cups as that being a selfish action. Um... And yeah. Hmm. Okay, let me take a look why that page of ones and a knight of ones is here. Why are those here? The page of ones and the knight of ones. We have the three of cups and the seven of ones. Okay. I think this person th takes it a bit personal, whatever happens, because. They do see you, like, still have time with friends or go out or have fun or, like, do the things that you had to do where they're like, okay, why? I i don't know what this is that you guys have a misunderstanding about. I'm feeling, again, where this is, you came with this. You came with this, like, breaking a promise or not continuing with this person or not being interested in this person and going, like, I need a little bit of a break. I'm not ready for this. I need to take my time. Um, they do, again, a bit selfish. Where they you're still going out with your friends. Uh, for some of you, it might even feel that they feel that you are lying to them about like the reason to it. Um, I 
And with that two of wands, you walk moving on, you moving away type of energy. Where this is where they made the decision. I think they could be still a bit hot and cold with you. Where they're like, I don't want to continue with pile number one. If that was the case, or they made that decision, there is still the attraction between the two of you, but they want to keep their independence. I feel like where it is they made the decision, they're kind of like playing a game with you. Yeah, painting you off as lesser than. And with those, again, at, to like quote the book here, it says, um, If someone wishes to break away from you, don't chase the relationship out of a sense of fear. The price you'll pay will, will not be worth the price. So again, where this is someone that tries to break away from you or they made the decision, don't chase that. Let them leave. Because the universe is like, okay, it's good that this person leaves then. Because they don't have your best interest at heart. And that's kind of what I'm feeling here with the tarot as well. That they might come back as well. Have that hot and cold because there is very much still attraction there. It's like they do see your value. They're just trying to devaluize you, yourself. You seeing yourself as lesser than. Um, which is very toxic. So break away from that. Or if that's the case, I feel like they're just like trying to play with you. There is, for everyone, a feeling of... I feel like they don't understand necessarily what's going on. Um, and so when talking to other people about you, they project that insecurity onto you as in you're the one that just needs a little bit of a break you are the one that is indecisive you are the one that cannot make up their mind um and with that ace of swords i feel like they <laughs> like need some more information or for some of you need a smack on their head <laughs> like are you kidding me <laughs> um yeah oh, a bit I don't want to go as far as say a bit delusional, but I am getting a bit like, what? Wh where are you getting this from? Um, okay, let me get some oracles on this. So what are they saying about you behind your back? What are they saying about you behind your back? Okay, for some of you, where it's more like a, fam uh, a family matter, where this is someone that is very supportive towards you, like a friend or a family member, it's and you're just going through, through a rough time is kind of what I'm feeling, where they are expressing to other people their worry about you, but uh, also the uncertainty of, I don't know what to do for pile number one. I don't know how I can reach out. I don't know how to. Um, so not doing anything at all and just giving pile number one you guys a little bit of a break and rest and in the meantime i'm just focusing on me i'm just gonna make sure that when pile number one comes back i'm a good stable rock for them to lean on a lot of messages pile number one okay let's take a look what are they saying behind your back We have, you are very close to achieving your goal. And your commitment is being tested. For This is just for every situation. Again, I can go over every single thing where... Okay, let me do that real quick. Where, again, if this is like a partner that broke up with you or that conflict comes from them, there is that playing a game type of feeling where they're like, okay, I almost got pile number one there. 
uh, I need just to hold on a little bit longer to get what I want. Um, for those of you where there, again, that's a supportive friend or family member, um, again, this is being their commitment to this friendship or having you in their life. Is This is a test on that connection. Um, but they, with that, you're very close to achieving your goal. I feel like they're just... They're going to stick with you through it all. Um, what else did we have? Where it is that you made the decision. I feel like your commitment to that decision will be tested. But it is the right one. I feel like you are making the right decision. So if you're having doubts of like, should I continue this or not? Um, I feel like you, you did it for the right reasons. Um, so yeah, okay. I kind of want to get some messages for you guys from your person. Anything that they would like to say. Pile number one, what are they saying behind pile number one's back? I remember every detail of that day. And we also have, we both know I am not the one for you. So again, we both know I'm not the one for you. That just stands on its own when it comes to relationships. When it comes to the friendships uh, and the close people around you, they understand that they cannot help you through this. That this is something that you need to overcome. That you need to do. That they are they are there for support if you need it. They just understand that you might not need it. But they're still there. Wanting to support you. Okay, I'm just thinking what else do I want for, for this reading. Is we got a lot for you guys, pile number one. A lot of different energies. But I think we got to that question. What are they saying behind your back? Depending on the situation between you and the person you're asking about. <laughs> Let me just recap. <laughs> Let me just <laughs> recap and then we'll end it there. So what are they saying behind your back? Where this is a situation of like a close friend or a family member that you're asking about and you are the one that's kind of coming apart or feeling like you're losing control or you just don't know what to do or you're a bit in that limbo uh, part of your life. One, everyone goes through that. Two, I feel like they want to be very supportive. They just don't know how to support you, but they're definitely here and sticking around. Um, don't worry about losing them don't worry about because i feel like they will stick around um they understand that you need a little bit of a moment um it can be a good idea with that ace of swords to have that conversation if you haven't already where you're like i'm just not feeling good so everything that i say can come across like you know in a certain way i'm not it's not my intention to push you away but i might need like a couple of weeks just for me. So if you don't hear from me for like a couple of weeks, don't be worried. We're still friends. I just need some time for me and I feel like they will stick around. Um, where this is a situation, and what are they talking about you behind your back is more supportive. I just don't know what to do for pile number one. Pile number one is going through a lot of stuff. I don't know. I feel a bit guilty, but at the same time, I want to live my own life and move forward and do fun things. Um, so more in that you know way where this is a person that broke away from you them deciding to break away from you I feel like they describe you more in a sad way oh they're falling apart without me oh they are you know they're nothing without me um type of feeling to it where this is i'm leaning more towards you because i feel like that's like one or two of you the, the other area that i'm feeling where you made the decision to break away from this feeling uh, from this person um 
it's more that they one don't understand where it's coming from or like that you actually did it and two they have i feel like a little bit of the delusion that you might come back to them well they just need a little bit of break but it's fine we have amazing attraction so you know they'll be back before you know it that type of feeling to it So yeah, I kind of want to leave it here for you guys, to be honest. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future. Also, if you have any suggestions for future questions, leave them in the comment sections below as well and I'll take a look at it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already and then have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. You got this. Um, honestly... I feel like, you know, we all go through shitty situations in our life. Is it shitty? Yes. I'm not going to say it's going to get better. It's going to get, you know, back to normal. Uh, but I, f I definitely feel very strong uh, energy coming from you. So you got this. Um, if you need some support in the comment section, leave it down below. We have a whole community here to support you. Um, but kick ass. Have an awesome rest of your day. And then hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading. Hi, Paul number two. So if you chose this card number 38 with healing the ouch, then this is going to be your reading today. So we're looking into the question, what are they talking about you behind your back? What are they saying about you behind your back? Now, I didn't intend to read the guidebook, uh, but I read up on it just to get a little bit of the energy. And just like pile number one, I was like, OK, let's just add it in because uh, I feel like it makes sense um so let's take a look 38 healing the ouch forgiveness is the healer of the soul this is a time for great soothing of the heart body soul and mind as this card indicates that healing will prevalent in your life now if you feel drawn to study the healing arts you'll be successful in developing your natural capacity to restore others to wellness however the message may be that you're being called to change your behavior in order to heal the earth perhaps you'll switch to a cruelty free diet eating less meat or perhaps you'll pay more attention to how much water or electricity you use you're asked to be conscience of your footprint on this sacred earth and all of life and to commit to the healing path to heal the ouch card may also be an indicator of old old wounds and broken bonds being mended reconciliations are possible now let bygones be bygones so pile number two what are they saying behind your back add <laughs> I'm seeing two very different uh, paths. At uh, one end, I'm feeling that they're saying, okay, pile number two needs to focus on self-healing, um, working on toxic patterns of behaviors. Like, I'm feeling for some of you, they're like, this person's crazy. They need healing. They need help. Um, for others of you, I'm feeling where this is a person that you like have, might have some like, wounds with in the past uh that this time is coming in for maybe reconciliation or healing that or you know yes that happened like five years ago but now you know i understand where pile number two was coming from i understand the situation um let bygones be bygones type of feeling so two very different energies so take it how it resonates for you um let's take a look what the tarot has to say about this for you guys as well pile number two what are they saying behind your back what are they talking about behind your back what are they saying Okay, let's say, see what we have so far, and then if we need some more, I do think we need some more. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Magician, the Emperor, and the Ten of Pentacles. Okay. Um, what else? What are they saying behind your back? Pile number two. What are they saying? 
Frank, you're back. We have the Nine of Cups, the Two of Cups, and the Two of Swords. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Swords as well. So I'm strongly getting that this is a person that maybe you haven't had contact with for a long time or it ended badly, but there is some time going over. With that, heal the ouch. For some of you, it can also be that they focus on healing their ouches. Um, again, we're looking at what are they talking about you behind your back? Over energy with that five swords is self sabotage. Uh, again, for <sighs> for those of you, okay, let me get over that real quick because that honestly, I'm like like uh, that person doesn't deserve this time where this is a person, and you'll know right if they have been telling other people where it's like this person's crazy, don't trust her, you know stuff like that. I feel like this is very. Uh, where they go, okay, pile number two is just self-sabotaging. They're acting this way. Um, they're not helping their cause. They are... Almost like feeling tricked or feeling played. Or that you... Like not treated them correctly i'm like what's going on here because like the overall energy of the five swords and then looking at everything else right i see like a happy connection a good long-term committed relationship a soul connection something that they have been trying to manifest um so i i feel like this right that this is a connection that could have been for the long term. It could have been a long term committed relationship, a soul connection, even something that could be very well balanced. But with that two of swords, that there had been, like, I don't know, that you are self sabotaging this relationship connection um, by like old patterns of behavior or. <clears throat> If you are still in a relationship with this person, they see that you are self-sabotaging this connection, that you are um, like trying to heal that ouch. But those old toxic patterns of behavior are very hard to get rid of. Uh, and they're a bit struggling with, you know, how to, what's the right decision for everyone here? Do I need to take a step back and let pile number two Focus on that healing first and then come back to this relationship with the risk of losing this relationship? Or do I hold on, stick stick this out? Like, very unsure. And as well as a, a little bit of... I feel like th this could... Could... How do you say that? Like, manifest some trust issues in the sense of... Can I trust pile number two with my heart? Um, because I don't know if they can overcome that hurt and that pain. Right? Again, with that emperor wanting to make the best decision for everyone involved. Um, <sighs> what else? Yeah, for so, some of you, I feel like they... <sighs> okay, let me clarify that Five of Swords a little bit. Why is that Five of Swords here as the overall energy? We have Justice, but no one's there. I feel like when it comes to relationships overall... There's a feeling of, okay, pile number two has been through a lot in when it comes to relationships and now developed some toxic traits. Um, and there's just some... Again, I'm just feeling where this is a 
potential love relationship or someone that you're dating or someone that you are in currently in a connection with there is the understanding of again you've been through a lot with relationships having trust issues the energy can also by the way be reversed that they are going through that right uh, but the connection that they see with you is a very strong one they see it going the long haul lasting for a long time having good balance everything that they have wanted with that nine of wands a relationship in which they can also maintain and keep their independence as well as the relationship but again with that two of swords with all the baggage that is going on for some of you it might be that you just got out of a relationship or, or just got divorced don't know if the timing is right but the connection itself, I feel like, is a very, very good one. Again, where this is a person that you are no longer in a relationship with or ended badly. Um, or like a friendship, family member. I feel like they talk about you as in they don't understand where you are coming from and seeing you as someone well like pal number two kind of messed it up um they are the one that needs to apologize or whatever that is right but i'm feeling honestly with that energy with that person i'm kind of feeling bored where i'm like i don't care that's kind of the feeling i'm having with that type of person so i don't want to pay more attention to that because i'm just like i don't care what you think i don't care about your opinion I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> let me take a look with some more oracles for you guys on this. What are they saying about you behind your back? Because the main thing I'm seeing that this is a person that does still want to support you. That is still in your life. Is still, um, you know, a part. What do you need to release? And we have the full moon in Virgo with you are good enough. So, yeah. You are good enough. Supportive. You got this. You can do this. But what, what do you need to release with that? Heal the ouch as well. Let me take a look at how we, how they set that. Uh, change your behaviors. Uh, let bygones be bygones. I thought it said something about releasing. But like releasing old pain. Let bygones be bygones. And focusing on the new. Wanting you to focus on releasing that. And that you are. You got this. You are good enough. Again. For some of you it might also be that. They think you might have some doubts or you feel that you're not good enough. And they're like, no, no, they're good enough. We're like, because this connection is such an amazing connection. But they're being a bit like doubts. Like, am I good enough? Like, I am broken. I don't deserve this. You deserve better than me. Again, that take it out, resonate. I feel like for some of you, the, the energy can be switched. Where they have that feeling of, I'm not good enough. I'm broken. I don't deserve this love. I need to fix myself first before getting into a relationship. Uh, it can be their energy. can be yours. Kind of depending. Take it how it resonates with that. Um, okay, let me get some final messages anything that they would like to say what are they saying about you behind your back what are they saying about you behind your back number two. Ooh, oh jeez okay we have a lot <laughs> a lot that popped out okay um i wanted like two uh but let's take a look i want to feel that way again sometimes i stay awake thinking about you I wish things could be different. I regret lying to you. And I am grateful for the spiritual lesson. Yeah. 
because I definitely feel that there is still feelings here for you and for this connection wanting what's best for you as well as like with that two of cups as well that there is that very strong soul connection between the two of you uh, and that opened to their own spiritual lesson so very grateful for that as well i just feel a lot of where it's like if you decide with that two of swords if you decide to let go of this connection i'm feeling a lot of sadness but also understanding they want what's best for you they want you know even if that's not them they want you to be happy and again where this is a situation where you are the one that's going like i need time for me i need time to heal i need to focus on myself again they respect that uh but they just feel like no but pile number two is good enough the way that they are right now and we can work on it together um of course still respecting your decision in that And with that, do you need what do you need to release? Wanting you to release something from the past, that old pain, that old hurt, leave the past in the past. So yeah, I kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys. What are they saying behind your back? I feel like just very much support, maybe a bit misunderstanding as well as um, talking about their pain and hurt in this connection or how it affects them. Uh, but nothing but like support and love and understanding. Like understanding to or like, you know, to you, but maybe for in some cases not understanding the whole situation, what's going on. Um, but yeah, I just feel a lot of sadness around this. <sighs> So yeah, I kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys. I still hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future. If you have any suggestions for future readings, let me know in the comments down below as well and I'll take a look at it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Have just a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Go kick ass. Trust your intuition when it comes to this. You know what's best. Uh, for you so yeah have an awesome rest of your day and hopefully i will talk to you guys again in the next reading hi pal number three so if you chose card number 37 with cleaning house then this is going to be your reading today so what are they talking about you behind your back the one thing that came to my mind uh which is not very nice but the thing that came to mind to me was very much um like good riddance that's kind of what I felt. Uh, I kind of want to read the uh, guidebook for you guys. It's a very short message, but I still want to add it in. Um, cleaning house. It's time to clean the clutter to make way for better things. When you see the cleaning house card in a reading, it's time to declutter your life. Get rid of unwanted things in your physical home and release what you no longer want or truly need. Is there any unfinished business, business you should address? Thoughts, memories, and emotional baggage must be swept out of your house as well. Your con con conscience must be clear for you to move freely in the world. Celebrate a spring cleaning and feel the freedom as you make way for much better things. Look at what you've resisted this discarding. And be honest about its value. Be honest. Clean house. So yeah, what are they saying behind your back? I feel like, you know, again, good riddance. Well, this was something that was no longer serving me. Um, I needed to get rid of it. It's no longer, it's not for my best interest to have pile number three in my life or um, make way for better. But let me take a look at what the tarot has to say about this. Um, what else comes up? Pile number three, because I feel like for some of you, you're already... Oh, hell no! 
where it's like a competition of, well, I'm, I'm glad I'm got rid of you too, like that type of feeling. Uh, so for some of you, you might still be in the heat of the moment with this person. Uh, but let's take a look what else, because I'm also feeling that it might also be more like the opposite of, okay, I cleaned house, I'm ready for pile number three to come in. Uh, but let's see what the tarot has to say about this. Uh, we also have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. The Fool, yeah, okay. The Three of Pentacles, the Nine of Swords, the Lovers, the Eight of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Okay, and then at the bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Pentacles, yeah. Okay, so where this is the situation, like I said, where I said good riddance, that's the ending for you. That's the ending of this reading for you, because that's it. Good riddance, end of it, throw it out. What more is there to say? I, honestly, I don't care more to look into that energy for that person because i don't care um now for the other people i feel like this is a, a situation where you can um like release i feel like something needs to be either talked about or how did they state when i read it i was like oh that kind of feels like that too um uh, like decluttering your mind as well because i'm feeling like a new f start here as well uh with that full energy and then that working on it together having a talk have a good conversation with that lovers and the two of cups i feel like you guys are a very strong soul connection whether that's soulmate, twin flame, um, but like, I feel like one of the two is not ready and that's what they're talking about behind your back. I'm not ready or maybe pile number three is not ready for this and needing some time, giving some time, um, learning. Okay, how do I uh, move forward? Give me two seconds to close the, 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 the how do you say that, curtains? Okay, because there was a major shadow, which I didn't like. Um, but yeah, like a new fresh start for you guys. Um, I feel like for some of you, where if you just met this person and are interested in getting into a relationship, um, where this is a soul connection. Maybe they just got out of a relationship or were still in a relationship when you met them. And they just go like, you know what, I need to get rid of the old things that are no longer serving me to be more open for a pile number three to come in. Um, wanting to have a new fresh start with you. Wanting to work on it together with you. With the Eight of Pentacles, definitely... I'm definitely feeling like curiosity of learning more about you. We're learning more about this connection that you guys have as well. Um, and what the attraction is, where it's coming from. For some of you, it might be a third party situation where if they talk about you, what they say behind your back is just that they need to make a decision or need to make a choice between you and the other person. Um, but with you, it's very much, I'm feeling it like a new start, a new beginning. But at the same time, with that Nine of Swords, are very, like, worried and not sure what to do and not, you know... No one here deserves this type of treatment, but I don't know what to do. I don't know how to move forward. I don't know, you know, and things happen very quickly. It, uh, you know, it feels like out of control. For some of you where you are in a long-term relationship with this person, it can be also cleaning house. In this connection what in this connection is no longer serving me what am i not getting what do i want um have that conversations for some of you it can be helpful to have a relationship coach or a therapist that guide you guys through this process of having that house cleaned um because <laughs> we have the mentality of go like you know what i can take care of this myself but if it's same with like cleaning house if no one ever 
showed you how a vacuum cleaner works and you're trying to figure it out on your own, it takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of frustration, it's not helpful for your joy of vacuuming or, you know, uh, so it can be helpful to have some sort of coach, again, to guide you through this whole um, situation into some sort of direction. Um, But what are they saying be behind your back about you? I feel like just, I don't see necessarily like bad things, just like a new start, a new beginning. More like excited. Again, if you guys are still here where it resonates, where they go like good riddance, that's done. That reading is done. Because <laughs> I feel like, you know, again, what more do you need to know? Good riddance. Okay, bye. Close the door. That's done. Bye then. Like, what more do you need to know about what they're saying? Who cares what they're saying? Who cares what they're saying? Um, and yeah, for the others, I just feel like good vibes. Just, yeah. A bit unsure what to do, but that doesn't necessarily have to do with you. I just feel they see you as someone that they can have a lot of fun with, a lot of attraction, like insane chemistry between the two of you, as well as they see you as a very caring and loving person, someone that they would love to build a long-term relationship with, uh, maybe even the mother of their children or like the father of their children. Um So yeah, okay, let me get some oracles on this for you guys. So what are they saying about you behind your back? Call number three, what are they saying about you behind your back? We have the new moon in Gemini with communication is key. So again, new moon with the full, new fresh start, new beginnings. Maybe... Even them learning, because that's with that Eight of Pentacles as well, learning new ways of communicating, new ways of being in a relationship, that you handle things differently than they did in the past, and that the way that you do things, which is, I feel like, communication, is something excited, something that's a bit scary, because they don't know how to do that, or how to have those healthy patterns of behaviors in relationships, uh, but very, like, excited to give it a shot and take this new like start this new cycle with you and we also have a time for healing a time for healing so for some of you they might need a little bit of time for some of you it can be that they understand that you need a little bit of time Again, energy is fluid. So it can also be the case, like I said, where I'm like, they could be in a third party situation. You can be in a third party situation just as, you know, just as well. Wanting you to clean house. Because I'm feeling a lot of like excited energy. Wanting to start this new cycle with you. Learn with you. Grow with you. Understand what this connection is between the two of you. Okay, what else? Pile number three. What are they saying about you behind your back? Okay, let me gather everything. We have, I remember every detail of that day. I regret lying to you. You don't know how hard it was to let you go. I'm starting to understand our connection. And I can't stop thinking about you. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck. I wonder if you are happy without me. Which I wanted to add. I feel like that just resonates for you how it does. It's very direct. So yeah, I think we got to the question. What are they saying about you behind your back? Again, for some of you, it's like good riddance. I don't care for that energy. Okay, bye. Um, and for the other person, it's just a lot of curiosity. 
and learning and trying to understand this connection and in are like intrigued uh having a hard time letting go of that connection and just wanting to pursue it um there are some changes that need to happen again a time for healing as well um so needing, needing time taking time But yeah, just, when it comes to you, just very, very excited. So yeah, I kind of want to leave the reading here for you guys. I hope it was helpful. I hope it resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments, comments down below. Um, like the video if you enjoyed watching it so I know that I can make more of this type of question for you guys in the future. If you have any suggestions for future readings, let me know in the comments down below as well. I'll take a look at it. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And in the meantime, just have an awesome rest of your day. Go kick ass. You got this. And then hopefully I will talk to you guys again in the next reading.